words long preserved for our walk in this world they resound the reason why the prophetic ministry is under attack we don't know how to connect we are not connecting with one another if there is a connection there is no race that can stand us we live in a generation where when one man of god have an attack other men of god are celebrating have you heard have you heard have you heard this is witchcraft we should be crying that one of us is injured we should be crying that one of us is injured a man of god in ghana lost his children everything same day I was sharing the testimony and that the Lord said to him he, said, he was about to preach when that news came and then in tears God asked him and said if it is your member children that died would you have preached? he said yes go to the altar and preach my gospel he climbed the altar and preached he was sharing that the pains he had was not because he lost his children it was what pastors were saying because he lost they, they, they in this end time is dangerous men of God who celebrate at the pain of another man wickedness what should make us cry to assist one another is becoming the joy of others you know whether you are spiritual when one of your brother have an attack the great man of God church collapsed here in this country some people were, were celebrating that his church collapsed as if he, he will pray for his church to collapse wickedness in the body of Christ it is believers that were writing all over hey come and see come and see who, who do you think will rise up and pray for people to die in his church which is this man of God talking don't know their 14 years to come in their ministry what will happen oh need no more and no no more oh more la you can be talking about a man's calamity today and you don't know what will befall you in two years time we are in the days where one single thing happened do you know why some men of god are dying because they can't share their pain with their pillars they are sick they can't tell their leaders i'm sick because if they tell their leaders they are sick the leaders will take it as a Pastor, the next should Pastor Arrow. If Pastor get Arrow, we too, we are finished. They will leave church. They are making men of God look like supermen. When they are depressed, they cannot share their story. When they are down, they cannot share their story. When they are sick, they cannot share their story. Because you will demonize them in their pain. They were first men before they became men of God. A great man of God, I experienced this, was about to die several years ago, very sick. Members who should have money and contribute, immediately they broke the news that their pastor was sick and they need, he needed to do an operation. The members begin to take the news all over. The church that is supposed to grow reduced down. From 2000, the church reduced down to 300. That increases depression. It increases depression. He forcefully came out to the altar pretending to be normal against medical reports forcing himself ministering every sunday and going into the office to collapse the wife called me and was crying and said man of god my husband is dying and i go to him he said man of god i don't want i don't want the, the, my church is going down if you know the pastor heart whenever the church is going down he pleads it breaks him down it him down to the bone and i started pleading with him he said my sickness is not my pain is that my pillars left me in this why 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 pray for pastors 95.5 pastors are in depression 95.5 pastors they can't share their pain because nobody seems to care pastors are not supermen they are men that need to be comforted they are also depressed they are also confused they fall sick they need your support and not critics if there is any generation that each of their general is the church is the church whenever their pastor is down 
now they celebrate they demonize pray for pastors the pastor lost his wife to cancer the leaders took it up and said he used that for ritual he came to meet me here and he broke into tears he said I'm leaving ministry I don't want to be a pastor I just want to live normal if not because I'm born again I would have backslided but I want to make heaven pastor take my church and I said I'm not taking your church he wept said the holy woman I ever loved she died in my hands but my leaders said I used him used her for ritual he said Papa look at me I don't have a car I don't have a bicycle and my members have abandoned me in the days of pain what a wicked war God will judge the church for how you have made pastors to cry God will judge members for how you have neglected generals and make them to be battered there are a lot of pastors preaching on the altar with heart problem preaching on the altar with diabetes preaching on the altar with blood pressure preaching on the altar in sickness just to make some of you happy pray for pastors they are not superman they need your touch fast for pastors all over the world they are human beings pastors don't allow anybody to make you look bad don't take your life because of somebody who does not have the key of hell and heaven in their hands if they don't believe in you let them go stay alive to fulfill your destiny stay alive to fulfill your destiny if they rejected their creator they will reject you as a creation if they rejected the one who created them and they call him he used the power of Pepsimum how much more you stay alive stay alive the Nigerian church has lost its value never has it been seen in the history of Nigeria where you see people attacking great men of God generals who have stood by the gate to make the kingdom of God what it is we talk against fathers of faith and think we will last we speak against proven men of God who have spent their life to labor for the gospel to be where it is cause is every generation that look at their father to their face and insult them I ran up on this note do I have a bleeding pastor here do I have the one who have lost his ministry because people seem not to understand you you have the one who is already sick and is trying to be strong please go and take care of yourself it is only the living that can preach the gospel do I have anyone who feel like quitting do I have anyone trying to please other members hear me they will leave you if they want to leave you be yourself good whatever pure whatever righteous think on them I suffered the pain of rejection when I was growing up I have seen it you know pastors that are broken hearted you are the ones I want to pray for. God told me there are 47 of you who feel like living ministry. I got to that point in my life several years ago and I felt no, 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 I don't want ministry anymore. Bleeding general. You are the one who God is calling to you. You feel finished inside you. You feel empty.
lift up your hands and close your eyes if you are depressed here as a man of God and you feel that you want to quit why should I fear you are the one if you are here and you are depressed come 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 here pastor come 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 defy you lord 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 say that now say that now say that now what i got to lord i talk lord yes you when i shall i gotta tell you for you for your heart are you not tired of where you are they have used your pain against you they have used your worry against you I before you Lord I feel like giving up but I hold to you I feel like going but I hold to you Lord I feel like going now but I hold to you Lord I feel like stopping on the way I feel so shall I be surrounded and surrounded by your love. Yes. Why should I care? Why should I care? Yes. What people say, people say they don't know. They don't know. They don't know your friends. They don't you open up before the Most High God. Oh Lord, to me, to me. They don't know, Lord. Oh, they don't know. They don't I'm tired. What you Lord, lift me up. To me. Cry to Him. Everything to me. Lord, Lord, Lord. But they don't oh Lord, Lord. Know. What you mean to me, Lord? To me. Yes, Lord. Everything but they before the members. Reason say you are the reason I leave. You're the one for me. You're the one for me. Sometimes, pastors, you feel like quitting. Sometimes you cover up before the members. They think you are strong. But can you open up before the most high God? You are dying of a heart problem. You are strong, but they don't know the pains you go through. Say, Lord, lift me out of this miracle. Strengthen this ones who are ministers of your gospel, who have been bleeding, who today have heard you, who have been confused.